Oh boy, what a what a day of SeaWorld announcements. So there is a new roller coaster coming in, two new rides, and a whole master plan for the spit, which is where SeaWorld is. And my morning kind of started like this. So two things right off the bat. If you're wondering why there is harp music in the background, it's because there is an actually live harpist in the background playing music. If you're wondering why my color is really weird, it's because we're underneath Shark Bay at the moment. Yeah, so I didn't expect that we'd be going down into Shark Bay and seeing this cool model of the new Atlantis, which includes Leviathan, their brand new wooden roller coaster, a Hus Top Spin, which is kind of like the Wipeout, and a new stuff wire called the Trident, which is gonna replace their smaller model that they had there in the last 12 months. So, Leviathan. Let's chat about it, let's look at the facts, and let's break it down and make sense of why it's gonna be awesome. So Leviathan's gonna be 909 meters long, top speed's gonna be 85 kilometers an hour, the height is gonna be 27 meters, so it's gonna be in that same ballpark as, say, the Storm Coaster. And here's where it gets interesting. It's gonna have two backward seats on the end, so kind of like DC Marvel's Hyper Coaster at Warner Brothers Movie World. And it's gonna have 10 head chopper elements all the way through the ride. Now, in terms of Leviathan, what's the reference point here? So, M&V, the company who is basically bringing it into SeaWorld, has been working a lot with the Gravity Group over in China to bring these jungle trailblazers. Uh, there's quite a few of them over in China at the moment. Um, and there's a lot of them that are actually kind of the same rough mold, you know, in terms of the height and the speed and the track length. And when you look at the POVs and, and the other kind of stuff that's online, they look awesome. Like, I, they look like a really, really cool, smooth, modern, fun wooden roller coaster. And if you don't have a chance to get out to China and have a go at those, I think probably the next reference point is probably going to be something like Jet Rescue at SeaWorld. Um, it is a steel roller coaster, obviously, but when you look at Jet Rescue, it looks pretty unassuming, it looks pretty mild, but that ride packs a bloody awesome punch, particularly for its size, and I think Leviathan is gonna be kind of the same thing. And in terms of Leviathan, there's obviously gonna be waterfalls and other theming and stuff. There's not much you can really take from the mock-up uh, that's out there online, but when I did speak to Clark Kirby, the CEO of Village Roadshow Theme Parks, he was pretty adamant about the kind of storytelling and the kind of space that I want to get into there in terms of theming for this whole new Atlantean... Atlantean? Ant... Atlantean. For this whole new Atlantean space. And of course, the other two rides in this space is the Vortex, the Hus Top Spin Suspended Ride, uh, where your feet are gonna dangle, it's kinda like the Wipeout, but the two arms don't articulate, they stay fixed the whole time. People who've ridden both have said that that is a lot better, I guess we'll wait and see, but uh, it's in a pretty prominent space, um, and it sure will look good, I guess, when you walk in through the gates. And of course, there is the Trident, which is this big, new replacement to the smaller one that they had this uh they call it a starfly basically where you got the tower and you spin around so we're basically going up to 52 meters now it's going to be very iconic with that big gold trident head basically at the top of the tower um i reckon it'll become iconic for sea world uh i think it'll be one of those staples like the corkscrew was back in the 1980s for sea world and of course there's all of this other news that's happening right now in terms of the master plan for the spit you know, there's gonna be a boardwalk that's gonna run up uh, SeaWorld. There's gonna be a light rail train station for SeaWorld. So if you're staying on Service Paradise somewhere, you'll be able to catch a train literally to the doorstep of SeaWorld. And the other hotel that's gonna be built on the car park that's happening right now as we speak is gonna be great for SeaWorld. So plenty of stuff happening in and around SeaWorld and inside SeaWorld as well. Now there is of course two elephants in the room. Number one is, what's going on with the log flume? That ride has been kind of standing, but not operating for a number of years now. I'd love to know what's happening there with that ride, whether or not it's gonna be resurrected or Because I think if you're gonna, you're gonna do either way, you can't leave it wide open there for people to look at and be like, is that open, is that closed? It leaves a bad taste in people's mouth. And I'm sure they get that. So hopefully we see something happen there soon. And of course, the elephant in the room with all of this announcement is Dreamworld. With DC Rivals Hypercoaster, you could almost say it was a one-off and they don't have to maybe build a like-for-like -like kind of ride to compete, but with this wooden roller coaster and these new rides that are being built at SeaWorld over the next 18 months, I think we're shifting the narrative now of like, these things happen once in a while, to like, these things should happen 
quite often. And so I think now the pressure's on for Dreamworld to really step up and deliver maybe a competing announcement in the next six months. So let me know what your thoughts are though in terms of maybe what Dreamworld should build now that they've announced a wooden roller coaster at SeaWorld. And do you like the kind of whole theme and the, the rides that are going in at SeaWorld? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Oh, and like and subscribe and all the other bits. See ya.